welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin, and today we're going deeper into conversations about love, marriage, and all the good stuff with all of my best friends. So make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out. Also, we have partnered with the Upward Dating app to give away $10,000 to one of you this Christmas, to the one who can count the amount of times Upward is said across all channels this Christmas series. So make sure to keep your ears peeled for the word Upward, and you might just wake up with $10,000 underneath your Christmas tree this Christmas. Anyway, let's have some fun. Yeah, I guess the first one. Oh, Lance. Hey, Lance. Can you come here, keep here real quick? Um, actually, can I ask you a question? Um, it's about marriage. One second. I want to answer that. I want to know what you got to say, but I got to get my keys. Oh. Okay. Um, well, wait, wait, wait. Hey, but... Locks. All right, next one. All right, guys, so we are out here on the gondola today, and uh, I just wanted to tell you, remember that idea I had of uh, talking to everybody about marriage, yeah. like asking them questions? Yeah. Um, I asked your dad, and he completely ignored me. You're lying. No, he actually, you were right there. That door slam at the house, that was because I said, hey, can I talk to you about marriage? Are you serious right now? No. My dad is so extra, guys. He loves the drama. No, he seriously does. So uh, I got to see if I can catch him at the lodge. You've got to torture him all day now. I'm going to see if I can try to. I know he's avoiding the question. Oh, he totally is. you got to torture him. Just like everywhere he goes, just pop up and like ask him random things. No, just that's... stress him out all day. My dad gets so stressed out about things like this. Y'all have no idea. This is like his worst nightmare to talk to Austin specifically about marriage. This is going to be great. I love it. I love it. Also, these views are amazing. No, this is ridiculous. We've been wanting to go on these gondolas every single day since we've gotten here, and this is the first day we've been able to do Oh, there's everybody else. Oh. All right, uh, slate your name for camera. <laughs> no, I knew this was coming. Uh, my name is Noah. Noah what? Noah the man. Know the man what? Know the man James Shinaki. There we go. All right, so first question I got for you. Um, is it, it's, these are all about marriage, by the way. I just wanted to let you know that. Um, uh, turns out I actually did hear a little birdie told me you were going around the house doing this today. Oh, shoot. So you're prepared. I'm not prepared because you didn't tell me Good. Good. All right, so um, this is the first one. What are, you, what are you most scared of when it comes to marriage? What am I most scared of? I think the real answer for me is moving into the season out of time. Because like, I feel like the right person, wrong time could be a hurdle. You know what I mean? Failure. But uh, also, I like. I feel like I have more peace this season about that than ever before. So. Wow. Well, dude, I'm glad. Give, give me a hug. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not all of us had peace out the gate. So Austin had peace with his girlfriend, my sister, at hey. like age 16. Listen. Before he even knew Listen. her name. That's he looked true. at her, he walked into church, he looked at her and went, oh, I have peace about that. Yeah, for sure. And he was like, Noah, you're her brother, right? Nice to meet you. Can we be best friends? That's exactly how it did, <laughs> how it went down. And it worked, it worked. How many kids do you want? So this is a funny question, actually, because I'm like the guy. So like, as much as I wish I could say like how many I want, I'm like, I'm kind of at her liberty. You know what I mean? She's picking. She gets to pick. All she has to do <laughs> is forget a couple things. <laughs> Here and there, and all of a sudden we have three, then four, then five, then six. So it's like, um, if you were to take a guess, if, if, what is the max you're willing to go? So how many I want and how many I'm guessing we'll have are different. Okay. I always said two, because, right. and then maybe adopt a third. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. But she's always said three and adopt a fourth, and I'm kind of cool with that too. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel that. Okay, yeah. cool. Love it. What age do you want to get married at? Dude. I legitimately think once peace comes, like you're not supposed to hesitate. Like you're supposed to go. Man who knows what he wants. Ladies and gentlemen, that's amazing. Yeah. How long do you want to wait till you have kids? Ooh. Well, how, what what is the question you're asking here? Because like how long do I want to wait to practice? <laughs> or how long do I want to wait to have kids? How long till the ball is in play? Um, I would say I at least want to have a couple years with just me and her. Because like I feel like this world is so beautiful. 
And like part of the reason like we're even doing this video series right now is because like we want to bring the family online with us to experience different places in the world that they may not know even exist. To bring their dreamer to life. I want to do that for myself. That's amazing. All right, well, Noah Shanaki. Noah, the man, James Shanaki. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you on the slopes. I'll see you on the slopes. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we found Lance. Uh, Lance, you ready to answer the questions? Where's he going? <laughs> Strike two. Is it? It's a little odd. He's, he's ignoring me, right? I, yeah, I thought so. All right. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? All right. Okay, so first off, can you say your name? K-Cup. K-Cup what? Kristen Marino. What about Whoa. All right, so we're here with K-Cup. And the first question I want to ask you is, do you think you're ready for marriage? The real question is, is Noah ready for marriage? Did he tell you to say that? No. Are you are you ready? If Noah's ready, I'm ready. She's ready. She's ready, guys. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can help you out with that. What do you think marriage is gonna be like? Like when you get married? The most amazing, beautiful thing ever. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What is what is one of the things you're most excited about? To travel like as couples together and like go on couples like retreats. Like that's so fun. That was like the number one thing that Noah said too. So you, you guys, your answers are lining up. Oh, that's so funny. It's meant to be, guys. It's meant to be. If Noah were to propose to you, where would it be? Disney World. No, just joking. <laughs> <laughs> just joking. Anywhere. Honestly, everyone's like, oh, don't you want a snowy one? I always just change my answer based on the season. So spring, summer, fall, winter, I'm good with it all. And it's snowing right now, right? It's snowing. Last, in Noah's last vlog in London, I said Christmas. So who knows? Guys, this is some crazy stuff. Love that. Okay, okay. How many kids do you want? Like seven. Wow. I mean, what did Noah say? Oh, no, he said two and then adopt one. Yeah. But then he said that you wanted three and adopt one. Yeah, yeah so four. Meet in the four. middle. Yeah. And then three more. And then makes seven. How many years do you think you should date somebody before you get married? Two months. <laughs> Just two months? Like three or four. We're almost where we know we're at. Okay, okay, yeah. good answer. All right, kick up. It was a pleasure. Thank you for answering. I'm out. All right, can you please state your full name? Okay, yes, yeah, okay. Me. I'm Carol Chavez. You know my name. It's okay. It was, it was what? It's Carol Chavez. You know it. Carol Chavez, and uh, we have a guest appearance. I'm Carol Chavez's best friend. All right. There we go. So I got uh, for my first question for you. Here. What do you think marriage is like? I think it is like the snow. You know, it comes when you're not expecting, but you have to nurture it or else it will melt away. But it could be cold, but you could be very, very hot as well and burn. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you're ready as a person to get married? Yeah, do you? Yes. You do think you are? I think I'm ready. That's my answer. All right. Good stuff. Okay. Okay. Cool. How many kids do you want? I want perhaps two or three, perhaps four, perhaps three. Carol wants as many as I have because every single time I'll have a kid, she'll have FOMO and she'll have a kid probably the week after. Yes, because we're going to be pregnant together every time. Every so. single time. Not just the first time. We want to be pregnant every time and together. And then kids can grow up and date each other. And they, they will be married. All right. I guess that's... What's up? What, 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 can I ask you a question? Ooh, yeah, what's up? What's up with all those very targeted questions about love, huh? You know, tis the season, Carol. It's yeah. just, it's the Christmas season. Yeah. I feel like love is just kind of like in the air. You know what I mean? Oh, I feel that. Do you feel that? Yeah, let me talk for a second. I'm just sitting here watching my two best friends, reflecting on, you know, everything that we've gone through the past two years of vlogging. We all started this journey single with just our little friend group, and here we are today. Nobody else has entered the friend group except for Caleb, and we're all dating. We couldn't find anyone else but each other, <laughs> but now we're talking about marriage and so much has happened. How long should you date until you get married? I think that when people say, oh, I'm not ready for marriage, blah, 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 you know what? You make yourself ready for the things that matter to you. If you just wait for things to be perfect, it's not going to work. You have to learn how to work it out through things when they are not perfect. 
Mm, preach, that's amazing. Oh, there we go. Whoa. All right, and then the last question is, uh, if you were to be proposed to, like, where would you want it to be? Oh, I would love for it to be in the snow. I've always wanted to snow. That's literally what Cake Up said, too. It is snowing outside. But that's crazy. What a coincidence. So, what is the thing you're most scared for about marriage? Most scared for about marriage? That I won't be able to be stuck to Ali all the time. But I think that whoever I marry and whoever Ali marries, whoever those guys are, they have already learned that there's no choice in that. Me and Ali yeah, yeah. are forever together. Yeah, and they actually are sleeping in the same bed on this trip and they've learned that they actually can sleep in the same bed pretty normal. So when we all get married, then we can just have sleepovers and they can leave us alone for just a night and or two. And me and Ali can continue best friend sleepovers forever. I think they've learned that. Do you think they have learned that? All right, we're done with this conversation. Come on. We're out. <laughs> well, thank you for answering. Adios. Ah, ah. We on? The first couple of people, I think, went pretty well. I still haven't been able to pin down Lance, though. I think he's scared of the questions I'm going to ask him, which makes sense. I mean, it's a, ter it's a terrifying topic, you know? But we're not giving up on him. Lance is up there a couple seats ahead of us, and as soon as we get off, we're going to see if we can snag him. So let's hope for the best. Guys, I think we got him. I think we got him. Hey, uh, Lance. So that conversation, yeah. that question I was going to ask you. Yeah. yeah. This dude just biffed so bad that one. <laughs> no. Let's go, let's go look at this. I think he got away again. I've been trying to ask Lance the same question for the past four hours, but... You're not getting the <laughs> No, you're good. <laughs> no, I, I think I'll... I, oh, frick. I think I might as well ask you anyway. You didn't have to answer some questions? Good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I just want to say thank you. This is the first time in a long time I've been in one of Austin Armstrong's vlogs. It's, it's, it's been a while, but uh, can you please uh, state your name for the camera? Colby Snacky. You guys knew that. Love that stuff. All right, so the first question on the list is, uh, do you feel like you're ready for marriage? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes and no. I'm just waiting on the right person, but I don't think that that person's in my life yet. What do you think you're looking for that you haven't found? There's like key things I'm looking for, like somebody who gets along with our family really well, somebody who like loves to travel, wants to see the world. What, what would be like a deal breaker in the relationship? I'd say like someone that's boring. Somebody that's like, doesn't get along well with anybody, doesn't play well with others. Somebody that's not good with being a chameleon in their environment. Like somebody that can just kind of do anything. Somebody who can't really adapt. Yeah. Cool. And then, uh, I'm gonna hold it. Oh, okay, oh yeah, okay. So, and uh, what is your biggest fear about getting married? I think my biggest fear is like, it being really late in life. <laughs> that's my biggest fear for you too. I just Okay, listen, we don't need to talk about kidding. that. I'm just kidding. No, but that is like a big fear. Cause I thought I was gonna be married by 22. Oh. And I'm here at 27 now. And I'm kind of pushing that boundary. Yeah. And so my fear is that it just comes way later in life. Okay, so last question. Is it true that you have a profile on the Upward Dating app? Why, is, why does everybody know about this? That is none of your business. Is it true though? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yes! Good, good. Well, uh, Austin, yo! Stop asking people questions! Does that mean I'm it? How did you get back up here? Wait, does that mean I'm it? Oh yeah, that means you're it. Oh! Whew. Well then ladies, if you meet those godly standards, you know where to find him. Here I am. Uh, that was great. Good talking to you, man. See you next time. Can you state your name for the camera? Yep, it's Caleb Wilbur. I wanted to ask you what you thought about my mustache because you had a mustache before me. Um, yeah, 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 I no, kind I, of. I love being people's role models. Um, it's always it's a good thing, you know, seeing other people yeah, following in footsteps. So my next question is, how is a relationship centered in Christ different from the relationships you've had in the past? The relationship I have now that is centered with Christ is anything that we go through, we're going through it together. We're not going against each other, we're going through it to know that we're fighting for each other against the enemy. Mm. Mm. Love it. How long do you think somebody should date before they get married? I, I wanna say, from my own experiences, at least a year, two years, you know, of getting to know how that person is uh, inside and out, you know what I mean? Um, getting to know their morals and their standards and, and learning to to work with each other and cooperate with each other so that way you can find the peace and the balance that you need. Dude, you know what I mean? That's awesome, yeah, that's really good. Great answer, I love that so much. What is, what is something that's a non-negotiable in your significant other? 
non-negotiable, she's got to be willing to pick up slack. Or whenever, whenever it feels like the relationship is, is missing something, I expect like the same amount of effort being put in to, you know, find that, that balance. I love that. Dang, really good. Yeah, really good. Caleb, that was absolutely amazing. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for answering the questions. All right. You want to know something funny? What? I have been chasing your dad around this entire day. Yeah. I've still not been able to get him. Do you want any good answers? Oh my gosh, actually, actually Caleb has been the best. Really? Yes. No way. No, seriously, Caleb has been the best. It's been fun getting to... I can't to... wait to hear everything. I know, it's been fun getting to know that's those sides of people. You know what sounds really good right now? What? Coffee. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Let's go. Let's get it. Woo! Good life. Ooh, I got a Dorito. I got a hot coffee. I can't feel my toes. Okay, let's sit at that table. Good one. Over there. Allie, did you go? Yeah, I went. Oh, wow. That's amazing. How many times? Wow. Oh my gosh. Allie, that was the best sip of hot cocoa I've ever had in my life. We've talked about literally almost everything. Wow. But what I would want to talk about with you is where we would want to be married. No, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So give me the top three places that you'd want to get married at. So actually, this is going to sound so bad, but growing up, I was never the girl that like dreamed about the day she got married. Like I always wanted to get married, but I never really dreamed about it. So I feel like in the last like year and a half is when I started actually thinking about, okay, where would I actually want to be married? I've always wanted to be married in the snow, but after hearing Cake Up and Carol talk today, I realized how basic that is because we all want to be married in the snow and engaged in the snow. So I'm trying to convince myself I want to be married somewhere else. But honestly, I think I still want to be married in the snow. Yeah. There's just something so magical about somewhere like this. Like if we found a really cool like church venue that the whole entire back of it was like open and no, you no, can no. find a day that it's not like obviously like in the middle of winter, like a snowstorm, but like the snow just started, kind of like how it is in Colorado. And you have like the big jackets, and because we don't drink, we could have like a fun hot chocolate stand and like stuff like that. I don't know. No, that sounds amazing. And I'm totally in there. What you about know, you? one of the funniest things ever was when Allie and I first started to get to know each other, we realized we had a lot in common. One of the most random ones was the snow thing. Because I, Ever since I was little, for some reason, wanted to be married in like Mount Everest or something like that. In so my head, fun. I was like, I want a mountain with like snow and all of that stuff. So I thought that was hilarious. I the think it's too thing. because I grew up watching so many Christmas movies that it just feels right. It just feels right. 100% does. All right. I never what really, else? I never really pictured myself getting married in like the summer, in a really summery place. But I know you probably like that, right? I mean, there's a part of it that's like really, really cool because it's, you know, beach vibes. Everybody has like that kind of beach wedding. But here's the thing, actually, I don't want a beach wedding. I want to. If I did have, sand. if I did have one that was like in the summertime, I would want more of a tropical wedding. You know what I mean? Like where we fly somewhere. Yeah. So like, if we did it in like Bali or something like that, I know it's crazy. It's just we're shooting for the stars here, guys. But if you did it in like Bali or something it's like that. It's not that crazy. You only get married once. You so have like you gotta do whole, what you gotta do. You have the jungle That's with right. the beach and all Camera those man. different things. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite. What about you? Give me a place. Bali. Bali? No, I seriously would love to do that. Or, or somewhere like Ireland. Do you ever feel like you have to like look up places now that we're getting close? Like, you actually should be planning this now. That is interesting. We're just so, that is interesting. We're such procrastinators, guys. Me and Austin do not plan. We're just like, no. you know what? We're gonna end up eloping. Honestly. I know. We, we, we say we won't, but then half the time we're like, oh yeah, we're joking. We're not joking. We're joking. We're gonna get engaged and then elope. Yep. You ready to go? Because I gotta go. What's a one more really cool place we could say? What if we just full sent it and did it in somewhere like Tokyo? I'm so down. Or Shanghai, or somewhere random. That would like be that. so dope. Like fly everybody that we know and love like out to Tokyo. That would be amazing. It'd be a trip that we'd all remember for the rest Yo, of our lives. On top of that, you have you seen those those two towers that they have in Tokyo with it looks yes. like a ship in the middle? Yes. What if we did it there? No, that sounds so fun. And actually, I was just talking to Noah Jacob, Carol, and Caleb about this because I said, how cool would it be 
and instead of massive weddings, we all did really small weddings. And then we did them like really extravagant places that we'd never go any time besides our wedding. No, that would be amazing. Like if we did ours in Tokyo, they did theirs in Greece, Carol did hers in like Brazil. That like, would it would be, be so incredible. wild. So everyone that gets married, we get to have like a huge vacation. Yes, I'm in. I think it sounds so fun. No, it sounds amazing. All right, you ready to go? No, but for real, what are you gonna do about my dad? Bro, I don't know. The cameraman, no. I have been chasing Is that man. True? I have been chasing that man around for literally the entire day. I love it. So he's I think, so funny. He's literally a kid. Like, what dad does that? It's hilarious. I think the only way I can do it is I got to pin him down at the house. You have to. I have to. In his, Look oh my this. gosh, in his nighttime hot tub relaxation mode. You know how he's been going every single night oh and like unwinding? Gosh. He's going to hate me for that. He'll trap he him. He like takes his own time. He's like, this is my, this is my Lance time, my personal time. I need to restore. He's going to hate that I interrupt that, but I have to. No, honestly. I have to. This is the best ever, but we should go. All right, let's get it. Guys, so uh, just like Ali said, Lance is out in the hot tub. I think we got him. We're going to go join him out in the hot tub. Come on. How's it going? Oh, no. <laughs> you finally got me. I'm trapped. <laughs> Trying to me all day. We've got to have this conversation. I went from having You've been ignoring me all day long, and you know it. I went from having all this room to run on a hill to being trapped in a hot tub with a belt, and you're like, "Yo, jump off and do a snow." I'm coming in here with you. We're having wait, wait, this wait, 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 wait. What? What? Okay, I just want you to know, I've had a long day. Okay. My muscles are hurting. Now, like, my brain is like spent. I just <laughs> want to come in here and like relax and chill. And we'll relax and chill. What do I got to do to have this conversation with you, though? You, you don't have to literally do anything, but I do have an idea. I love making memories, right? And I think the extreme with the cold and the heat would be really cool. What if you introduce yourself to the neighbors, right? One time around the block, in the snow, Are you, and no, then back in. Absolutely come not. On, come on, man. That'll give me enough time to just relax, chill, and then I think it'll simmer you down, you know, the cold or the heat. All right, then, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Let's go, bro! Say hi to the neighbors. Hey. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, feet tornadoes! <laughs> Woo! I do a, a lot of work to try to, to have a conversation. And it's been kind of fun avoiding uh, you, I gotta be honest. <laughs> so you've been doing it on purpose this whole time? 100%. Because I'd love to see your responses. It's fun. It's like you're the one that's fun to bother. You know? Okay, I appreciate it. But I also got you to run around the block, and all the neighbors probably think you're crazy. Right? No, you did. I definitely woke some people up. All right. All right, so what is this? Well, here's the thing. It, it might, it's not actually as intense as you might think, but I realize we've never talked about it. Since we've been going into a lot of new seasons with, like, who? Allie and I. Oh, Allie. Yeah. And, well, in the rest of the house yeah. and everybody, I'm the kind of person who, like, I want the most amount of advice to step into whatever I need to step into. And not saying that this is that conversation. Yeah. But I wanted to ask you, like, from being married and going through all that and raising an amazing family. Thank you, by the way. You're welcome. It's genuinely. Not perfect, that's for sure. No, but amazing. I wanted to ask you, like, what is one of the main things that you've learned from all of that? You know how I am. Like, I'm about the mission. I believe that God created us on purpose and he puts us here on just the right time. You know that we're supposed to be here. So my whole life's about the mission. So when it comes to marriage, it's finding somebody who's like the Bible says, equally yoked, and that is going to be an equal partner in what God's called me to do, which besides accepting Him as my Savior is the number one most important decision I believe I'll ever make. Because I'm partnered. And when you're a partner, like if you and I are partners, if I want to do something that I believe God's called me to, but you're kind of like, ah, I don't really believe in it, that's going to affect how yeah. we move. And so we got to both be a team, partners, and be led together. So that's huge in who you, who you choose to be your wife one day. And the other thing as, as for the family aspect, it's teaching your kids from a young age that this life is not about them. 
that this life is given to them. They were given giftings, abilities, desires, and dreams, but they're not to be used for themselves. There's a bigger story, God's story, that's unfolding all around us, and that they have a role to play in that story. And so it's helping them to know from, from the time they're born and they can really comprehend, just breathing that into them, the truth. For me as a dad and for a family and as a husband, it's all the same. It's all about the assignment, helping them to know like all their giftings and their abilities. And really for you as a dad or a husband, it's leading by example, how you live, how you treat your wife. The Bible says that you're to love her like Christ loves the church. Like I can't even comprehend how much love that is. But that's how we're called to love our spouse and to make sure that even the kids don't get before that, that relationship when they come because life gets busy. So it's making your priorities according to scripture. And also in communication, you know, in a relationship that you always are trying to get a better understanding instead of trying to prove your case because there's always two sides to every story and effective communication is huge. But if you're both willing to do that, and my number one thing is divorce is not an option. If you have options, you'll take it, you know? But if there's no options, you have to focus on what the problem is. You know, those are my big, my biggies, you know? And if you have that, I believe, with God at the center, there's nothing that can stop you. We're good. I love it. I love it. Thank you. So all that running around? Yeah. This for this? You yeah. want to have this kind of conversation? It was a, it was a good mom? conversation. When my legs are burning? It was a good conversation, I told <laughs> but you. I mean, my legs were burning. I was out of breath. You didn't even give you a chance to ask. <laughs> oh, I know. Well, you make me nervous whenever you show up. I probably made you uncomfortable before. You make me uncomfortable. Yes, yes you have. Yes, you no, have. that kind of swings both ways. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, man, yeah. How's that feel? How's that feel? It's amazing. Good, right? I seriously jacked up my foot, though. <laughs> running around. I stepped through the pile of rocks. Hey, but you know what we have? The memory. We do. We have the memory. We have the memory. Oh, You're still here? <laughs> hey, thanks so much for watching, but don't forget, we're switching YouTube channels every single episode. And you're going to be so lost and miss some of the best moments if you don't watch all the episodes across all the channels. So make sure to check out these videos for the entire story and... Merry Christmas!